We have 100 days to be Ark Scorched Earth. We have three goals in mind. Collect all three wyverns, get all three artifacts, and kill the Manticore. Can we do it? Who knows? Let's get straight into the video. We are starting off Scorched Earth. We are going to go straight into our... It, there is a super heat going on right now, which is quite bad. But um, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do the arc things, and we're gonna hit some trees. We're just we're gonna absolutely send it and see how we get on. We can make an axe. Oh, there's already an Anki. Oh my god. Uh, what do we need? We need some flint. We can do that. We can do that pretty easily. Right. I think we're gonna make a little starter thatch base, or we should probably level up until we get to some wood, maybe. A Procoptodon could be actually really, really good. What level are you? You are level 10. Okay. High level Megatherium, please. What? Uh. Oh. <laughs> um. That's a sandstorm. That looked sick. Is it a sandstorm? I get. It's a lightning sandstorm. What is going on? What? <laughs> Oh my god, that looked absolutely amazing though. I'm not gonna lie, that looked freaking incredible. Look at the lightning as well in the storm. Okay, the sandstorm is still raging on. It is insane. The, the weather effects on this is so, so sick. But we have a little... We can actually put some down some walls as well. I'm gonna need to make some more walls, but we've got a starting, little starter base going on here. I've managed to make myself a tiny little thatch base. Let me let me show you around what I've done. So, if you come over here with me, obviously, you will see my lovely thatch door and my tiny little storage box. That's as, uh, that's as far as I've got so far. <laughs> I then made a little campfire to keep myself warm and then made a few reusable spears so then I could take down some bigger creatures. One more. And one more. There we go. There. Oh, I see him. He's hiding in the bush. Sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, I, di I don't. I didn't want to do it, but I have to. I need to hide. Can I disable it? Right, there we go. We're going to put that there, and then we can eventually make some narcotic in this. So, yeah. Wait, wait. Get this. Oh, there's a pack of raptors. I mean, we're fine. We've got this. I believe. I believe. We hit one. One. Two. Alright, now we're just gonna spear them. Spear them to death. Level 15. Alright, they're dead. There's no way. There's no way. What level is this one? Level 5. What? They got absolutely destroyed. Okay, so I've abandoned the other base. There was too many wolves, too much danger stuff down there. So I've come up to where I killed those raptors a second ago. And we're just going to build like a tiny little base up here. This is just going to be our safe little area. Hopefully nothing else spawns up here. I'm going to put down a bed if I can. And uh, we're just going to, we're going to chuck a bed like right there. So in this uh, DLC pack, the, the Bob's Tales, there's an item... Well, like a skin that you can actually put on like wood textures to change it into like a cowboy themed and it's pretty cool, look. So it changes it into a nice wooden like board, I guess? I don't know, it looks really, really cool and there's loads of different ones. So you have like windows and stuff like that, you have iron bars, saloon doors. Obviously we're going to probably build out most of that stuff eventually, but I don't know, there's some really, really cool stuff in there. I made myself a basic set of cloth fibre gear. I've managed to put on one of the outlaw sets. What do you think? It looks pretty cool, no? I feel like... Maybe if I change weapon. What's spear? Four? Yeah, look at that. Do look like a cowboy. I really do look like a cowboy. I then spent some time making our tiny little base. So I made a, uh, a ceiling. It, it's not like the best designed ceiling ever. But you know, it's a ceiling. And I believe I can actually... Oh my, okay, don't worry. Don't worry, actually, it's a good design scene. It's not very straight, but I don't matter. Look at the little base you got going. It does look like a jail, though, I'll be honest. But it looks pretty cool. Level 10 parasaur shall get destroyed. Boop. 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 There we go. I just made a reusable parachute so I can do this. It's great. Actually, great. Die. Why has this guy literally a porcupine? Oh, there's a terror bird. Ooh. No, 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 no. No. Oh. No. 
I then decided it was time for some advancements, so I went and got some metal. Um, I can't actually go in my house because the two fires, so I kind of just have to look at it from afar, which is quite hilarious to be honest, but uh, you know. <laughs> so I'm just slowly watching my metal cook from outside the door. Okay, we have everything we need to be able to make the smithy, so I'm going to put that in the bases on. I put down the smithy and made a little metal pickaxe to go with it and went and mined some more metal. Oh my god. That's a baby terror bird. Oh, I need to kill the parent now. Oh. Is that the parent in the rock? It means we can actually get the baby one now. If we can, somewhere. Oh, I found it, I found it, I found it. Ooh, come back, come back, be my friend, yes! Also, look, while I'm in the river, look at my base up there, look how sick it looks. With the fire in the windows, oh. Anyway, I'm taking this guy back up to the base. Okay, I managed to get him home, so we've got a little terror bird guy here now. I can actually make the terror bird saddle, which is... I'm gonna call him Dave. Dave the terror bird is our first terror bird. Okay, so we obviously need to go and tame something that can actually get some berries because we are struggling in that, in that department at this point. I was able to make a few narcotics, but I don't really think it's going to be enough. I made 17 narcotics, so we can turn these into actual trank arrows. I, I think we're going to go try and tame like an Anki or maybe a Dodicarus. I want to try and get Morella Tots, but I think they might be too big for us at this moment in time. Kind of just sitting in the middle of her sandstorm. Uh... I guess it might be a lightning storm. I think it's a mix of both, to be honest. Me and Dave are kind of just chilling. I'm just getting some narco berries, and yeah, I'm basically just crafting narcotic. But yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna jump down and see see what we can actually find. Look at this! Having a parachute is so good. It honestly is so so good. Right, let's have a look. Oh, there's a baby one. Look at this. What level are you? Level forty. Okay. I found a level 71, we're just going to go for that one first of all, so we're going to try and trap it in our little billboards here, if I can, hold on, this is going to be a lot more tricky than I thought, going to go like this, and then like that, and then one more, don't snap, boom, okay, I think it should be trapped, okay, I put a few arrows into it, I think I might have just shot it when it was going down though, so we might have a little bit of a problem. Oh, I left all the berries back at base. No, damn it. Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll get some berries then, I guess. <laughs> okay, we are back, and the Morella Tops has finally tamed up. I've been just going back and forth because I've been dying to the heat over here. So <laughs> we've managed to get our Morella Tops home, which is going to be insane for us. Just obviously having a berry gatherer, gatherer is just so much easier. It really, really is. But I'm pretty quick. Where was the Morella Tops at all? Oh, it's, is it raining? It's hard to tell if it's raining or not. I don't think it is raining. All right. Well, we got our Morella Tops. We can try and harvest some berries, and I'll take this guy back up to the base. Um, yeah, we're naming Spud. I like the name Spud. Ooh, I found a Phyla. I want to go see what level it is. I don't, I don't want to kill it. What level are you? What level are you? What level are you? 35. Okay, gotta go. Do you know what? Why the Phyla is actually distracted? Oh my god, there's a baby Anki. I'm actually just going to start shooting it. Why not? Oh, I'm going to die. No, 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 no. No! Ah. Okay, we've managed to make it back to Dave. I believe he's killed the um, he's killed the vulture, so we should be all right. I hit, I still hear a thorny dragon, but we should hopefully be okay. Or not? No. Stop that! I knew it. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Wait. We need to. We need to put food into this, uh, into the phyla. Uh, I only have spoiled, I only have cooked meat. Have we got enough? I'm just going to chuck that all in, all in there. Why, how has he got meat on him? What? Okay, 
Oh my god. Oh my god, he's already tamed up to 50%. I got, wait, we should... Oh my god, we're about to have a fiber. Um, so, we do have a few mods uh, on here. And I do believe I see an acro over in the distance. Um, which is kind of terrifying. I'm getting out of here because of the acro, so... Everyone, whistle me. Let's go. Okay, we have made it back home. Um, we need to give our filer a name. Um, that was really cool seeing the acro. Like, I don't, I don't know why. I just really found that really, really cool. But we're gonna name this guy Spa. We're gonna name him Spa. No, why not? I don't know. But yeah, we need to make a filer clear his head. So apparently, it's these flowers that give you the silk. Oh, it is. Oh, I did get some silk. Okay, okay, okay. Using the silk we just got, I was actually able to make some much needed desert gear, which is going to save us from the heat. After not dying from the heat, although I still am, I went and mined some more crystal. Ooh, ooh. Hello there. What the fuck? This was the point where I got a little bit of help in the 100 days. So I got Sammy and MT to join me on our little scorched adventure <laughs> only for a little while. Ow. Oh no 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 no! Stop it! What the fuck is your character? We are the desert companions. So I took out my shovel and uh, I got some water. And he seemed to really enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So <laughs> mm. The real struggle is that we didn't have a flyer, so me, Sammy and MT went out and tried to get a couple of different RNGs. I believe we got a level 30 and level 50 and one other one. I hit it. One more. Nice! What a shot! What a shot! Holy crap. Ooh. That was the end of our RG adventure, however we did now have the saddle unlocked and an RG. But if you want to go follow me on Twitch, I also do sometimes stream over there. I would appreciate it a hell of a lot, but other than that, just taking the views. Okay, so we are back after everything that happened. There, there was craziness, I know, but <laughs> we are back at the house. Uh, it's a new day, so we are gonna try and maybe go try and get a Procoptodon. I've been farming some uh, rare mushrooms from the obviously crystal spots. I've been getting a load of crystal just going up on top of the mountain. Um, we also have our RGs now, so it's a lot lot easier just to get around. Um, but I think it's time that we go try and get a Procoptodon. Boom, and then what? Wait, boom, 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 boom. Wait, we're good, we're good, we're good. I think. I don't know what I've just done. <laughs> I don't know what this has just done, but it's fine. <laughs> why, why is it bugging out so much? Alright, okay. Alright, we got it in, we got it in. Get knocked down. Alright, there we go. We're good. Do I have a mummy? Right, what do you reckon we're getting? What do you reckon we're getting? Ooh. Ooh. It's got a ring around it. Please, something good. Okay. We're gonna name the Procoptodon Proc Hop. Fabricator, boom. There we go. Let's do it here, right? I don't have to be that close. Oh, I can. Right, let's dig. Let's see what we get. Bro, could you... Can you not? What do we get? Okay. I mean... I've got a riot shield from it. I mean, I'll take it. This is... I don't know why that would be in a treasure chest, but yeah. Acro! Ooh. Level 10. Oh my god, he's got a baby! Oh. How much health has he got? 1.6. Die, just die. It's fine. We got this! Ow! Quick, quick. 
We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Catch dead. Oh, <laughs> uh, baby. Let's go. How am I getting this home? <laughs> That's another question. All right, we've got the acro back to the base. It's only level 10, but I mean, it's pretty good. Did, wait, did it not get... I got 50% imprint. <laughs> Fucking hell, it's loud. I decided it was finally time to try and go and find a perfect main base spot for the 100 days. So I ended up moving base in a sandstorm and then I needed some cryopods to eventually move over all my team. This is going to go completely wrong. No! No, 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 no. I threw it! Oh, no! <laughs> I didn't mean to throw it. Are you? Can we, can we, can we? I mean, I knocked out unconscious. Well. But. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't mean to have that in my hand. I made myself a cryo fridge as apparently I couldn't throw out teams without it, even with the modded crows, and then I made a fabricator as well. <laughs> what is this? I mean... Okay. I started building up the base and let me tell you, adobe structures are so expensive. Obviously, unless I'm on Scorched Earth, I never normally build with this type of structure. Um, but yeah, it was very, very painful grinding all the resources for this, and it took a little while. However, while I was doing this, I noticed that a death message came up on my screen, and poor Spud! Spud! Amarilla tots that we got had sadly got eaten by a raptor. So, rip Spud. After Spud's death, I decided I was going to go on a little adventure, and I found an oasis as oasis saw? Oasis saw? The new thing that got added in the Bob's Tower pack, DLC pack, which is pretty cool, even if you do get stuck inside it. Now I came to the desert because I wanted to grab some organic poly. So uh, we need to kill a absolute crap ton of mantises. And then I found a dung beetle on the way home, so I grabbed that too. And then obviously uh, when I got home I was able to tame it with some poop. And we named him Diego. Using some of the organic poly, which I got from the mantises, I was able to make the new gilly, desert gilly, which I think looked really, really cool. I then went out again on another adventure, and I found a stuck 115 tapajara. So I took this opportunity and knocked it the absolute hell out. Eventually, we got a tapajara, and of course, I named him Spike. I then realised that I had a 175 ascendant saddle, so we put that on Spike and we was away. We had ourselves a little tapajara. Can we just appreciate how amazing this silhouette is? Just look at it. And I went back to the base and actually started doing stuff. I kind of got distracted, um, but eventually I was able to make a decent part of the base. I don't know what that wall was doing, but we're just going to go past that. Eventually I was able to make the ceiling, but again, the adobe structures are so, so goddamn expensive. But eventually, this is what I came out with. A cool little barn, I guess? It wasn't the most detailed barn ever, but it would do for around 100 days. Obviously, water was a massive, massive issue in here. So I decided I was going to build some water tanks. And obviously, in Arc Ascend, apparently wireless water is a thing. Who knows? So I built some crop plots and got some fertilizer. And then went a, on a massive, massive metal run. After a little while of getting a few different drops, we managed to get a C4 charge and some organic poly. One of the strangest drops I've had in a little while, but I was on my way to go and try and trap a higher level RNG. Obviously, we had a couple of RNGs, but you know, I wanted a second high level one. So I did my best and I trapped an RNG in our little trap here. And it's pretty easy to knock him out. After a little while, our RG had tamed up, and I decided that we were going to go for the name Pip. Uh, Pip was going to serve us well, and now we had a breeding pair of RGs back at the base. And Spud had died, I needed a, another berry gatherer, so I grabbed Spike, 
and I went on a little adventure and took out a level 75 male Marillatops. Using all that metal that I had finally cooked up, I was able to make a million incubators and finally start hatching some eggs. So, of course, I named these RG's oh Wyvern Food 1 and 2, as they was going to be used to get some Wyverns, and then I put down a feeding trough as well for the baby RG's. I then decided I was going to make some grenades to try and tame the Fasosuchus. Okay, so I'm back and I found myself a Fasosuchus. It is a level 90 with reasonably okay stats. It's my first one, so we're just going to give it a go. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to I'm going to land. Um, we have the grenades on us. I hope grenades work. Um, okay, I've never tamed one before, so we're just going to absolutely send it. I've already ran out of water, but we should be okay. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the grenade. Did I hit it? Oh, I hit it. Right now we just run and jump on it. I think. Go 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 go. Oh, we can control it. What? Oh my god. Apparently I've got to run into rocks with it to do torpor. Oh, it's really hard to control. Oh my god. I was not expecting it to be this hard to control. We have a lot of torpor that we have to we have to do. Okay. This might take a little while. <laughs> oh, we fell off. We fell off, we fell off, we fell off, we fell off. That's all. Throw my tappy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Go. Ooh. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> might have been way too short. Yep. That grenade. Let's go hit him, right? I hit him, I hit him. Right, let's go. Go, 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 go. Get on. Alright, there we go. We're back to, back to about 2k torpor, so... Okay, he chucked us off again. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Spike! I'm an idiot! No! Oh my god! I'm actually such an idiot! I'm actually such an idiot! Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. No. <sighs> I'm going to die to overheat. No. <laughs> I can't believe I've just done that. Okay, I managed to fly back over here, um, but he is just sitting on my body. So I might have to lead him away for a little bit and then try and get it, I guess. Oh, I can't believe, I can't I actually can't believe I've done that to the Sabujara. Spike, poor Spike, man. He only lived for like two hours. <laughs> okay, once I, once I leave him away, I'll get my stuff and I'll come back. Um, he's in that dirt mound, like right there. I'm in a sandstorm. So, I don't know, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna throw it. We're just gonna give it a go, another go. God, I can't I can't run to it. No, 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 no! Wait, I can't run. Oh no! Oh no! Bad, bad, bad. That's that's very bad. Hold on. Oh, I've done it again. Oh my god, I've done it again. I hate crow sickness. Right. Here we go. This is the last time we hopefully have to do this. Let's go. Come on. Ooh, the grenade. Boom. Right. Come on. Your torpor is so high. Go the other way. Oh, not again. We are so close. Oh my god. There's a vulture. That's fine. Ignore it. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, he's unconscious. Oh. 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 Oh, do I put meat into it now? Uh oh. Uh oh. I, I was not. I, I thought I would just get it. That makes more sense. And 25%. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. There we go. Okay. We managed to grab our Fasasukas. Holy crap. My armor is shredded. Um, but we have the saddle and. So, let's, right, so let's see what we can do with this thing. Hopefully it's good. I'm, I'm really excited to try this guy out. So he has like his normal bite, I guess. He has a tail whip. 
Be quick in the sand as well. Um, it does like a, a coming out of the sand attack. I don't know what. I know he has that like circle attack, but I don't know how to do that either. To be honest. Uh, I found out that there's actually another ability, which is this one. How sick is that? Come over to the wyvern trench we are literally just going to try and get one of the wyvern eggs hopefully this goes well i've got one of the breeded up argies um but yeah we're just gonna we're gonna fly in there see what we can find hopefully it's something good but let's just send it let's go i'm, I'm excited this, this is the first time in arc Zen that i've got a wyvern so i already see a nest down there which is pretty is promising that is very very promising um i should probably turn on oh is that an alpha wyvern Oh my god, that wyvern looks sick. Is that a fire? Oh, that might be a fire wyvern. It's either a fire or alpha. Oh, I see a nest down there as well. I'm also dying to the hit. Oh, there's a poison. Oh, there's no nest over here. Oh, I'm going to go for this one. Level 90. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's go. We got this. We're just going to absolutely get the hell out of there. Oh. Eesh. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh my god, the RG need dead already! What happened? Oh, we're dead. Oh my god. Our RG just absolutely just got destroyed. No, 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 no. Oh. No, dodge it. Dodge it. No! Well, that won't work. <laughs> Although we do have the egg in our in our bag, so there's a chance we can go recover it. So I've come back over to our last death location. Um, I don't exactly see any wyverns around here, which is a very good sign. But at the same time, I'm kind of scared. Um, as soon as I pick up that bag, they will come straight back after me. So we've got to be ready just to get the hell out of here. There's no wyverns though. I mean, that's that's promising. That is promising. There is a Carno. And a few vultures. No, look at my dead RG. No. Okay, no wyverns. Alright, let's try and... Where's my bag? There. Oh, there's going to be so much crap. Right, we're going to try and lead it away. And then... Uh... Okay, maybe not. I might just go in there and try and scoop up my bag. Don't know if that was a good idea or not, but I'm going. I'm going. Go, go. Hopefully there's no wyverns that come after us. Although we did just pick up another egg, so possibly. Maybe? Are we are we good? I think I think we've escaped. It's always nerve wracking, I swear. <laughs> But we do have a, a level 90 fire wyvern to hatch. I would have probably preferred a poison or a lightning wyvern, but I mean, a level 90 wyvern I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain about. I'm not sure about the rates, whether we actually need to get milk or it will grow up before we need milk, but we'll see, depending. All right, I'm back to the base. Um, we have our fertilized wyvern egg. We're just gonna throw it down and we're just gonna hatch it. So I'll be back once it hatches. Oh my god, look at this wyvern. Oh my god. <laughs> that is the coolest looking wyvern. We actually got the one we wanted. The baby wants wyvern milk as its imprint. Um, so I'm going to let this guy raise up. We shouldn't need milk for food just the imprint um so we will see i'll probably just use this guy to try and go get more eggs and then try and get some wyvern milk for those eventually Ooh, look at this oh my god the fire looks amazing I decided I was going to go and steal a few more wyvern eggs with our brand new wyvern, so I went into the trench and copped myself a poison wyvern egg. I lay a hatch up at home and we had ourselves a tiny little poison wyvern, and how sick does he look? Obviously I had to name this wyvern, so I named him, obviously, a viper.
which I felt like was a pretty suitable name. On day 55 I was adventuring and I came across a level 130 Rex which I really couldn't pass up this opportunity so I decided to go get some more Trank Arrows and eventually I was able to knock out the Rex. Once I had him tamed up, even if it was in a sandstorm, I decided to name him Ruck. Ruck our first T-Rex, which was really, really cool. Do you know what? I got attacked again, and after that incident I decided it was time to maybe at least fortify the base a little bit, so I put down some spikes, even if they were a little bit rushed, I didn't want anything else dying. And then I went back to the Wyvern Trench and caught myself a, another Wyvern Egg. This time a lightning wyvern egg, which was pretty cool. Now we had one of each. I went back to the base and obviously hatched it up, and we had ourselves a lightning wyvern. And of course, we named him Nightshade. After a little while, Nightshade had finally grown up, and we was actually able to test a lightning wyvern. In my personal opinion, the probably the strongest wyvern out of the three. And obviously, I'd not seen the lightning attack, so I wanted to try it out. Look how sick that looks in Arcus End. I love it, I really do. Flying around on our brand new Viper Wyvern, we obviously found a, another T-Rex. So I done what well, I hit small. and I tried to knock him out. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh. Why is he small? <laughs> No, I'm going to die again. Oh my god. Wait, I found a strap. No, 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 pick up. Do one. Bro, you stole my wind turbine. Bro, <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm on 97.9%. What? We're gonna call him Pope. Don't ask why. I have no idea. But he is now the Pope. I put our little Pegamastics windmill on top of our house and then threw out our first Rex egg. We finally got to the level of the Acro Saddle and we finally had it unlocked. This was so, so cool and this is the first time using an Acro in our Cassandra. So I decided I was just going to try out the abilities and of course try out the roar. Look, I've got a pink mutation on the ricks. That's really, really cool. Oh my god, that's actually really cool. Oh my god, I got another mutation. What? Oh my god. <laughs> it's got like red on it. Oh my god, that looks sick as well. What is this? I got a pink and a red one. Okay. Oh, we got triplet. Oh my god, level 200. Oh. I was finally high enough level to be able to make the industrial forge and obviously I could not put this inside my base as it would be way way too big. However I went and I went on a little adventure and to my luck I found a level 130 filer. So I took him back home and we knocked him out. After gathering so, so many materials, I was actually able to make an industrial grill and put it down in the base. And of course, to go along with it, I had the chemistry bench. I then decided I was going to try a new pistol. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't, 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 don't worry about that. It's fine. What the fuck? Hold on. What, what, hold on. Hold on a sec. What the f... You have the mutation. I then decided I was going to rename our final 
panther. We have headed over to our first cave location. I haven't done this cave in about four years, <laughs> so it might be a little bit rough. But we're gonna we're gonna send it and see how we get on. So I'm just gonna leave our little viper guy outside. He should be okay. Okay, there's another entrance on top, so we're just gonna jump down and hopefully we just we see how this goes. Our file is not leveled up either. I do have a few bullets on me, so we can use them, but. Let's just see it. Oh my god, it got dark really, really quick. Oh my god, look at this. There's like sunlight coming through. Okay, that's cute. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, it's a drop. I did? Oh, it leads down here anyway. Oh, they just came out the floor. Oh my god, there's so many arms so far. My arm is going to get shredded. No. There's one up there as well. He's sniping me. Keep dodging the spit. Keep dodging the spit. All right, we're fine. We're fine. My armor's not been broken yet, so as long as our armor don't get broken, we should be alright. Die, die, okay, we're good. Are we good to get off? I hope. I hear one in the wall, but it shouldn't be able to hit me, hopefully. Please give me something good! Desert cloth, that's not bad. That's actually not a bad drop. I'll take that. I will take that. Alright, we're gonna continue through the cave. Hopefully, we should be alright. Let's just, we're gonna keep going. No, this is not the time to poop! Oh my god! Bruh. Bro. Oh my god, look at that other bro, that looks sick. What is this? Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I'm already at half health, I just healed! Let's hope that Manta can't get out the game. Alright, hold on. Don't, don't do it. What? Okay, that one's dead as well. File is not looking too healthy, is he? Oh my god. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. No, it's fine, it's fine. We can take, we can take these, we can take that one, four, five. I don't know what that man is. is the, what? There's another one? Why do they keep coming up the walls? That one. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. 145, yes. And I know you're 145. Just just die. Okay. Wait, we're fine. We're fine. File a jump. Okay, okay. That could have been really, really, really bad. Oh! What is that? Oh, it's a mantis. Why are you flying? <laughs> what? Oh. What? <laughs> okay. Alright, hold on. Right, I need to grab this quick. Oh, Who is that? 700%. That is so expensive to make, but it probably would be worth it. The, the artifact. I think this is the artifact. Oh my god, it is. Look at this. Are we good? Are we safe? I think we're good. Artifact of the Destroyer. And we got the skin as well. Scorch Sword skin. Ooh. That's really, really cool. Do you know what? This cave is awesome, though. Look how sick this cave looks. Okay, right. We can make it. Oh, this is so expensive. Seven hundred and nine percent. Oh, I should have crafting skilled it. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Ah, uh, that's fine. It's it's, it's fine. <laughs> There's actually another cave right by our base. Like our base is literally there, and a cave is apparently here. Um, so with our new a new pistol, which I've grinded for crazy amount of time we are going to jump down and just see what's down here i have no idea what to expect to be honest. okay we're fine we're fine we're good are we good there's a raptor right we're gonna we're gonna test out the new pistol actually boom two this cave is gonna get destroyed i don't know where the entrance is to this 
my god, why did it get so dark? Right, screw it. Panther, you're coming back out. Right, let's go. Let's see what is in here. Anything in here? This cave looks cool compared to the other one. This one's like more glowy, I guess, is the word. Do we go left or right? That's the question. Let's go... I go to the left first. We'll see. Mantis. Arflows. There. Those ones. Spooders. Alright. Uh, there's another one. 700. Oh! One for... <laughs> this weapon's so broken. It's great. There's an explorer note. I need this explorer note. I feel like... I feel like I don't. I feel like I should get my filer. All right, we're gonna we're gonna craft the filer real quick and throw throw him back out. Oh, good thing I uh, I I got my filer. Um, is that an artifact or is that a drop? I can't. Oh, it's a drop. Oh no, that is the artifact. I think. All right, let's work our way around and uh, work our way down as well. Okay, we're at the red drop like halfway up. Um, hopefully, we get something good. Oh, an ascendant facet. Oh my god, we're gonna have to take the facet into the boss. And we've got Marilla top saddle as well. What? File? Uh, file? Oh no. It's fine, it's fine, we got this. It's fine. There we go. <laughs> well, that, honestly, the Faso saddle, oh, my loot has been crazy. It's honestly, it's on normal, like, loot. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I never get this lucky, honestly. Okay, I see the artifact, it is up there, so we're just going to grapple up. From Panther, you should be alright, please don't be anything dangerous. Okay, there we go. Artifact of the Gatekeeper. And we've got Scorched Spike skin as well, that's pretty cool. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop myself down again. We are actually at the third cave location. We're just gonna send it, we're gonna give it a go, we're gonna try our best and see if we can try and do this cave. So I park my wyvern kind of in the cave. I don't know. <laughs> There's the cave behind it, so oh my god, it's got dark. Ooh. Um but yeah, we're just gonna run through the cave, see what we can find, see if it's any good, and my file doesn't fit. Okay. Well, that lasted long, didn't it? Well, I'll get my filer back out in a minute, but we'll uh, put you away for a second. So, I don't know what we're going to be finding in this cave. The other two caves are pretty good, I have to admit. Um, I like the I like the spiral cave quite a bit. Ooh, I feel like there's going to be a load of deadly creatures all of a sudden, which is kind of scary. If there is, I'm going to have to run away. Hello? Hello, deadly creatures? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, what is that? Is that one of the modded creatures? Hold on. Oh! Uh, oh! Um, there is an alpha. It's an alpha echo carcria, or whatever it is. With 15k health. Um, my camera is obviously covering it. Um, a slight problem, that is. It's only level 20. But I don't know if my filer can really take that, to be honest. Um, Alright, here we go. We are going to light the absolute crap out of this thing. And hopefully it doesn't murder us. Um, we can run to Viper if we need to. Uh, other than that, I don't really have much we can, we can do. I'm just going to shoot the absolute crap out of it. Uh, 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 we're fine, we're fine. The murder. Come on, kill it. I don't want another one of these things. Die. Those things are. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know how we survived that. If we didn't have that pistol, we would have died 100%. Uh, let's take them all out. What's that? Oh, it's Mantis. <gasps> uh, why is there a, a, a baby golem? Can I shoot it? 
Oh, bullets. Bullets do damage. Oh, rock. That's fine. We're fine. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Scorpions, go away. This is not the time. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Okay, okay. Just, Scorpion, just, just, just die. Just should... Okay. Oh. Um... We might need some more bullets. We 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 might indeed need some more bullets. Uh, there is another rubble golem. We should be fine to take him out. I think. <gasps> no 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 no! Where did you come from? What is that? Ow! Oh, I've got mega rabies as well. Are you kidding me? Okay, we've killed the rubble golem. Uh, just die. Stop doing the bleed. Okay. 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 If there's another one of those, I'm going to have to go and get some more bullets because we've only got like 50 bullets left. So, eesh. Right, we're going to make a mad dash for it. There is a mullala for sauce. Oh, there's another one. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I'm, I'm, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have done a mad dash. This is awful. This cave is awful. <laughs> Take the opportunity to get one. Screw it. Right, we're good. Okay, right. Oh, that those those alpha creatures are absolutely awful, man. We got artifact of the a crank. We got scorched torch skin. Okay, nice. We've done the three caves on scorched. That last cave was a nightmare, but we managed to do it. We're good. We are ready to try and take on the Manticore. Okay, I need to farm some talons, so we're gonna have to try and kill a few wyverns here if possible, and try and get eggs if I can. Oh, uh, I got on just in time. Maybe. Oh no, I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. No, I'm dead. No. <laughs> That's fine. Oh. Let's go. Let's get out. Let's go. Come on, Wyvern. We was going to need 20 of each type of talon, and I made some turrets to go with it to try and kill some Wyverns. Oh no, no, he's coming back. Ooh. Here we go, light him up. Ooh. There we go. I took a break from the uh, Talon Gathering and I actually came across a Oasisaurus. So I decided I would try my luck and maybe try and raise one of our dead babies, I, I guess, uh, or dead tames. Basically, in this you basically have to keep the baby alive by killing vultures. However, there was a hell of a lot of vultures and my pistol just was not good enough. There's so many more. Stop it. No, 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 no. One more. No, no, no. Don't hit. Don't hit. No. Damn it. Oh. I then decided to try again on a different Oasis or and I, uh, I ended up inside the Oasis or I don't think I was supposed to be in here. <laughs> I don't know how it happened to be honest, but I ended up inside so I kind of just gave up with it. It was a little bit fun. I then went out and tried to find a Tyrannus and to my surprise, after a little while looking, I found myself a level 140. I 
And then she killed the Kano and the Scorpion, and then I could fill up the Uteranus with a crap ton of prime meat. Of course, then I named it Raw. <laughs> a very fitting name, of course. Okay, right, we are ready to go and do the Manticore. So I have all my Rexes ready, I'm a Uteranus ready, and I also have Spike. He's coming with us for the boss fight as well. So I'm going to take all of these over to the Red Obelisk. It is a super heat right now, so I'll probably wait, uh, come back and get all my items and stuff, and then I'll be back over at Obelisk. But we are going to go on an adventure with our Rexes over to the Obelisk. The army! Okay, I think I have everything that I need for the boss fight. We are literally going to absolutely just send it. So we are going to get on our brand new little train and take our little adventure over to the Red Obelisk. Look how sick the train is! This train track was stupidly expensive by the way. Look how sick this is! So that is literally as far as I can make it on the train tracks. They were stupidly expensive to make so I only made it like halfway. So I'm going to run over to the obelisk and we're going to get the boss started. Alright, I have everything we need to be able to do the boss. We have all the talents and everything we should hopefully need. So we are literally just going to send it. We have all our Rexes. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go and do the boss. Hopefully we do it. I'm kind of nervous for this. It's been a lot of preparation, but we are just gonna absolutely send it. Here we go. Don't crash. Right, where's Raw? Alright, here we go. Everyone, good luck. Ooh! We've got 20 seconds, so. Let's go. Let's do it. We got this, I believe. <laughs> I'm so nervous! This has been so much preparation, I can't lose. I literally can't lose. I believe us. I believe that we got this. Here we go. Ooh, the leg. There is the manticore. Get out of the way. All right, everyone, let's go. Let's go, let's go. We're gonna wait until the manticore drops. Ooh. There we go. Attack. Attack. Go. I believe. We got this. We got this. Okay, that was not bad damage. Not bad damage. With the attack, go! Alright, it's fine, death worms. They're fine, we can take care of that. Go, team! I believe, I believe we've got this. Just keep keep courage in roaring them. Our Rexes are doing massive, massive damage, so. Go! Oh, why did he land up there? Wait, that's fine. That's fine. Come on! Huge damage! Huge! Huge! I don't know how hurt the Rexes are, they they look okay. They do look okay. We've got a couple death worms, but as long as we can keep doing damage to the boss, we should be fine. Do, do, do. <laughs> Go! Oh, huge damage. Keep roaring, keep roaring. Oh, we're halfway 
we've got this. As long as the Rexes don't, like, some of the Rexes don't die, we should be okay. They're not even taking that much damage, to be fair. Believe. We're gonna eat some food. Come on. Come on, don't let it escape. Don't let it. Don't let it escape. Isn't, we're not allowing it. Oh, here comes here comes the golems. Okay, all right, the golems are gonna do a little bit of damage, but we should be all right. Oh, that's a big golem though. Nice. Go, Manticore. Gonna die. Come on, come on. I believe. I believe. Only a little bit left. A little bit left. Come on. Come on. No, he's so close. Resist! He's literally so close! Go! It's fine! Ow! Right, the Rexes, we've got this. The Rex have got this. I don't think they're even bloody. This should be right. Go! Manticore! Go! Attack! Attack! I'm going in. I'm going in. Go! This one. Attack. Rex is go! And... We've done it. Oh. I can't believe we've actually done it. We have killed the Manticore. Oh my god. Alright, let's go get off this if I can. And try and get to the drop. <laughs> Let me get to the drop. Oh my. Okay, some of the Rexes were a little bit bloody. They were a little bit bloody. But we, I feel like we've done pretty good on that. I feel like we've done pretty good. We had a lot of time left, so... There we go. We got our 428 element and our Alpha Medical Trophy. Oh! Oh! This is different, right? I haven't seen this. Oh, it's like the Overseer fight. This is sick. But yeah, well done. We we actually managed to complete it. I actually can't believe it. Oh, here we go. Do 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 do. So now we've completed Scorched Earth. I love the cinematics, to be fair. I do love the cinematics. Boom! We have ascended Scorched Earth. Over to Aberration. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> but we've done it. We actually completed Scorched Earth. Have grown in strength. I have been searching Helena's memories, finding what I have forgotten all these long years. Her friends and the journeys they had. Was it all for nothing? No, it had to be done so that one day you could exist. Together you and I we can put this right. You must travel onwards, Survivor. For your greatest trials are still to come. Nice. <laughs> so, we have completed the Scorched 100 Days. I really, really, really enjoyed doing this. If you want to see any other ARC videos, uh, let me know in the future. But we do have our trophy on our little base that we made up here, our little Manticore trophy. It's a lot smaller than I remember. But maybe that's because my house is huge. But <laughs> but yeah, we do have a few Powered videos and a few Stardew Valley videos coming out as well, if you want to see those. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you always enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace, guys. See you later, guys. Peace.